this is 3d wolf and you're watching another tutorial and in this one we are going to finish the sofa model we started in our last video so in our last one we finished the model and i showed how to unwrap all the objects in this particular asset so i have unwrapped everything and put it in one single uv layout and uh, as you can see that these four are the cushions and the rest of them are the wooden part so i have uh, unwrapped everything and i'm going to export now as obj to texture it in substance painter so i'm going to go to export selection and uh, i have already exported i'm going to just overwrite this and now we can move on to substance paint so we are in here and now i'm going to create a new document and i'm going to keep the resolution to 2k and just uncheck any of these points if they are checked so click ok and you're going to see your model in your viewport so i'm going to start first with renaming our material let's go to texture set settings and we are going to bake the mesh maps so if you are using an older version of substance painter then your ui might be a little different so i'm going to keep the output size to 2k and also i'm going to check this use low poly mesh as high poly since we do not have any mesh to bake and i'm going to keep the anti-aliasing to 16 you can turn it down if your pc can't handle it and i'm going to keep rest of the settings to the default and click on bake selected textures this might take few minutes depending on the specs of your pc so just wait and let it finish so texture baking is done and i'm going to go to painting mode now we're going to start with the wood so i'm going to delete this empty layer and you can use either of these materials so this texture is going to be pretty simple so this might be a very short tutorial so i'm going to use one of these woods for this so let's try this wood plane i'm going to drop it here as you can see that uh, our wood knots and the fiber texture is not looking good because the rotation is all wrong so we're gonna have to go to rotation and change it to 90 and if you see the textures are a little bit big then you can change the tiling and here in the parameters you can change all these things to achieve some different results so i'm going to try something like this so if it's for your liking then you can use it but i'm gonna go back to the default so you can change the word color from here and you can change the distortion of your fibers and the knots but i think I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Here you can change the wood roughness. If you want it to be more rough, then you can increase the slider all the way to one. But I think 0 0.4, 0 0.35 looks much better. So you can try all these things. If you want to add more knots or less knots, you can change the knot intensity. and uh, we're going to change the veins a little bit I think this much should be good enough.
and I'm going to add a little bit of fibers something like this so I think that much should be enough for the wood there's not much else to do in this texture because we are not going for a uh, gaming texture we're just going to keep this as simple as we can so i'm going to go to add a black mask and go to polygon fill set it to mesh and i'm going to select everything now i'm going to press x to switch this slider and if i select any object now then it's going to remove the texture from that object now we have our wood texture and now what we can do is we can move on and uh, add a material for our cushions so for the cushion let's uh, try something this fabric linen and again i'm going to go here you can change the rotation if you want but i think it doesn't matter for this material and i'm going to increase the tiling for this so i think 5 looks pretty good and again you have all these parameters here so if you want to change it you can try something like this but again i'm going to go with the default I'm going to increase the tension variation it will give you this white faded effect now if you're working for a game asset you can add a bit of tear and stitches around this cushion but I'm not going to go for that and again I'm going to add a black mask and use polygon fill to assign my texture now you can add a layer of dirt if you want to do that so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add a fill layer and add a black mask then add a fill in this mask let's go to our textures and uh, here we'll have this ao which which we baked for this mesh i'm going to drop it here in the fill and if we go back to this material turn off metal normal and height I'm going to increase the roughness all the way to 1 and change my color for now. Now as you can see the color has covered most of my texture but we want to invert it so I'm going to go here and add a filter and go to the filter and search for invert and if we click invert then it's going to invert the texture so now what we can do is we can change the color a little bit add a bit of dirt or depth and I'm going to turn down the opacity something like this And now we can render it so i'm going to click on this camera icon or you can press f1 and it will start rendering i'm going to change the max time to look like 300 300 seconds or you can change it to minutes i'm going to turn on caustic sampler and also you can uh, change the resolution for now i'm taking 1080 let's go to your display setting i'm going to check this clear ground and uh, make it white you can change it to whatever you want and for ground what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to something like minus 4 
और मे बी माइनस फोर पॉइंट I think this much should be good enough. And now let's go. Let's go to camera settings, and I'm going to change the focal length. To something like fifty-five. Let's turn on post effects. Go to vignette. Check this, and I'm going to add a little bit of vignette in the corner. and uh, that's it for this one let it finish and you're going to have a beautiful render in few seconds so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then let me know in the comments and share this video as much as you can and if you're new to this channel then consider subscribing you can also join my discord server or follow me on instagram all the links are given in the description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching